Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to accept Bitcoin donations. Over the last days I've been reading some horror stories about PayPal. People who got their funds frozen, charities who can't access their money, etc. This is why I decided to make this video and show you how to start accepting Bitcoin donations in a matter of seconds. Now, Bitcoins offer several advantages, but in this case, the most important one is that it is a decentralized currency. This means that there is no central power or authority that can control the money. Your Bitcoins cannot be frozen by anyone. Also, using Bitcoin is extremely easy, as I'm going to show you, and if you use Bitcoin, it doesn't mean that you have to stop accepting PayPal payments or donations. You can easily offer both systems, as accepting Bitcoin has absolutely no cost. One last note before we start. There are many different ways you can use Bitcoin and many different pieces of software. In order to make this demonstration meaningful, I'm going to use the most basic and simple method I can think of. There are other more automatic programs that will manage everything for you and make it even easier, but I also wanted to demonstrate the basics of Bitcoin. Now, the first thing we need in order to use Bitcoin is a Bitcoin address. Think of this address as an account number to which people can send their money to. We'll be using bitaddress.org in order to generate such an address. Let's see. bitaddress.org and there you go. We've just generated our first Bitcoin address. From this moment on, we are able to accept Bitcoin donations and payments. It's really that easy and fast. But let me explain what you've got here. What you see here in the upper left corner is your public address. Give this to anyone you want to publish. Uh, give this to anyone you want. Publish it on your website email signature, in your, for in your forum messages, or even print it out and stick it somewhere. Everybody who knows this address will be able to send you a payment. Now, on the lower right corner, we've got a private key that matches the public address. This key allows you to have access to your money and control it. Think of it as a PIN number, just a bit longer so that it can't be guessed. You should never show this key to anyone, and you must keep it safe. There are many ways of doing this. You could store it as an encrypted file, or you compute on your computer, or you could use a Bitcoin program as we previously mentioned. These Bitcoin programs um, are used in order to manage and handle and securely store private keys such as these. But since we wanted to keep it simple, what I'm going to do is just print it out and keep it somewhere safe. Now that we've generated a Bitcoin address, let me sh show you how we can use this in our, on, our web on our website to start accepting donations. Ok, you'll have to give me a second because I'll, s I'll have to edit the source code of a demonstration website which I have prepared for you. Oops, I just copied this address here. Uh, I'll just copy this. Um, here it is or the source code of the website I've been preparing. It's a very simple website actually, so... Uh -huh. um, as you see, we are copying the public address on our website so that it can be displayed. And the last one was, I think... Uh, let me see... it was here. Later. Good, let's save this. And now I'm going to show you um, the sample website. It's this. Now this is a very rudimentary website, but it's just intended as a demonstration. As you can see, there are several ways uh, that you can accept Bitcoin donations. Um, the simplest one is just creating a payment link to your address. But you can also use a simple JavaScript button. For example, just click here and the button prompts you for a payment. See how easy it is? Now. Also, as many of you have probably noticed, the QR code offers great integration with smartphones. Imagine you are a charity that prints out flyers and other promotional material. You would just need to print out this QR code on your flyers and people would be able to send donations by just scanning it.
from everywhere in the world. So now I'm going to show you how this works. Um, sorry. Now you can't see me, but I'm pointing my phone at the QR code and scanning it. Okay. I'm using a Bitcoin application. Let me just um, scan the code. Scan QR code. Here it is. Sorry, one second. Okay, I'm scanning the code. And good, there I go. The code. My QR read is a bit slow. Um, now I choose the amount I want to pay. In this case, I want to pay 0.1 bitcoins. So, 0.1. And I just click send. Okay, it prompts. Um, wait a second. It prompts me for a uh, for my pin code. One. Good. There you go. Um, I've just sent 0.1 bitcoins to our newly generated address. This is a little less than a dollar and a half. Now let's continue. Imagine six months have passed and you want to collect your donations. The only thing you need to do is to import your private key to a Bitcoin uh, wallet or a Bitcoin application. Okay, so we're going to import a key to a Bitcoin program um, called um, uh, well, a Bitcoin wallet. And we're going to use a uh, Bitcoin wallet such as um, blockchain.info which is an online wallet service. It is very easy, easy to use and we're going to use this for our demonstration. Okay, you'll see that we can use the wallet in a matter of seconds. Just click, we we'll just have to click here. Oh wait, I'll prompt it in English so you can understand it. Well, there you go, wallet. And we just start a new wallet. And you can, we'll see that we'll be able to create a wallet in a matter of seconds. Okay, we need an alias. Let's say video testing wallet and a password. Okay, the capture. Um and continue. As you can see, there are no personal details required. Um, just on an alias, a nickname, and a password. Now I I'll input my password again. Oops, sorry. Ah, uh, again, again. I'm, I'm very, I'm very. Good. There we are. We just opened our Bitcoin wallet. Um, now we could have used now we could have used this wallet um, from the beginning in order to generate our address. And as you can see here, when you create a new wallet, you're already provided with a Bitcoin address. This program stores your keys securely. It encrypts them, and you can do whatever Bitcoin operation you desire. So using Bitcoin can even be easier. But as you remember, I decided to use um, bit address in order to make a meaningful, very basic demonstration of how private keys and how public addresses work and how what the link is together, how to import and export them. Um, now, you ask yourself, what happened uh, to the money I sent? Well, you remember the private key. The only thing we need to do is to import it to our Bitcoin wallet. So let's do this. You just import it. Yes, I understand the warning. And here's our um, private key. I'll copy this. Um, usually, if you have, uh, for example, if you've got it on a piece of paper, you would just type it in. Or if you have it uh, on a QR code, you can scan it using your webcam, as you see here. That you just have to make sure um, you have this private key stored securely. And have you seen? We've automatically got the funds we sent to. Um, that address earlier. Here we've got the transaction. It's still an unconfirmed transaction because it's uh, very, uh, 
in, it confirms every 10 minutes approximately. Uh, here you can see the keys we've got available. This is the starting key provided by blockchain, and here we've got the the key. Uh, so I'm sorry, uh, the address that uh, we just imported. So as you can see, you can create um, a Bitcoin address anywhere you want. And as long as you keep um, the private key, you'll be able to import it everywhere and just use that money. So the only thing you need actually to accept uh, Bitcoin donations is to have this, um, uh, this address, this public address, and the private key. And the private key, you can store it however you want. You can print it on a piece of paper, or you can use a sophisticated piece of software, such as blockchain, or even a uh, piece of Bitcoin software that you, you can download and use offline. Actually, you can use blockchain offline. You, you could just use this wallet in offline mode. There's no problem with that. I could actually also generate this address uh, in offline. I could save this website on my, uh, on my hard drive, and be disconnected from the internet and generate a private address. There's no need to be connected to the internet to generate such an address. So this is everything. These two pieces, the public address and the private keys, everything that is needed to accept. You just give this to everyone you want and then you keep this private key, which in case of a, of a Bitcoin wallet is stored safely inside the wallet. It is encrypted. It is protected very, 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 with very strong encryption. Um, now we've got, as you can see, um, $1.41, uh, so we've got 0.1 bitcoins, and you could keep collecting money that way. You can actually um, use this to send money uh, in various fashions. And let's say, as ag again, as we said previously, six months have passed and we've got a good, a good amount of money. Um, what we could do is we could spend it on... on businesses that and services and products um, that accept Bitcoin or we could exchange it for dollars or euros they are so-called Bitcoin exchanges such as mtgox or bitstamp.net we'll just visit one of this um, mtgox.com um, there you go Well, that's actually all you need. All you need to know, um, because you can use the services to change the exchange for dollar. The actual exchange rate is um, thirteen ninety nine, about forty dollars per bitcoin. And yeah, you can see as long as you've got your private key, your um, your bitcoins are are only yours. No one can take them. No one can freeze them. And you have seen how easy it is to accept and pay. We've just done a donation, a payment, with a newly generated address in a matter of seconds. So this is everything you need. Um, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope it has been useful to you. Goodbye.